Welcome back everybody. So it is cold now in Georgia. I don't like that, but that does mean that fall is upon us. It's time for pumpkin spice everything. And of course we can't talk about pumpkins without my pumpkin army that goes up the driveway. And that's going to be one of my major themes in my haunt this year. So I needed an introduction to my pumpkin army scene. And for that, I decided to purchase this archway from Spirit Halloween this year. Um, it is a nine foot tall archway that I'm going to make people walk under. It's a bit pricey, it was $150, but of course you know we need to use our Spirit Halloween coupons. And uh, let's go ahead and open this box and see if it is worth $150 or, what is that, like $120 or so um, after coupon. When we go ahead and open up the box, of course we see some uh, of the usual anchors. We've got some plastic anchors, some heavy duty string. And then we have our archway inflatable. It is quite heavy. I think the whole thing weighs, uh, looks like almost 10 pounds. It has a nine foot long cord. Let's go ahead and unfurl this and put the box out of the way and see what we're dealing with. Now, I think part of the reason it's so heavy is it does have some bean bag weights in the bottom, um, which is good because I was kind of concerned about how such a large inflatable is going to stand. In my display, I'm going to have it going over the driveway, and I figured we're probably going to need to build some additional support for it. But there is only one way to find out, and that is to plug it in and see what it looks like once it's nice and inflated. All right, takes a second for it to turn on. Looks like there is one small, fan in the back. It's got a few feet to keep it off the ground. Let's go ahead and sort of untangle this mess. All right, so what do you think? Now on the box, you couldn't get a real scale as to how wide it is. It actually looks very narrow. Um, with the path through the archway. Um, but in real life, I think it's quite sufficient. It's a little short for someone who's, you know, over six foot tall, but I think it's going to be easy for people to maneuver right through the archway. It does tend to want to lean forward, but that might be because my driveway is a little slanted. I'm a little concerned that any sort of wind is going to blow this around, knock it around. So we might have to, if we're going to be putting it over the driveway like I am, um, really tether it down on each side. I was even kind of considering maybe building a support for it in the back, um, just so that it's really sturdy and doesn't go anywhere. But then my other thought is some of the recent inflatable reviews that we did had those really large donut shaped weights for the bottom. And I think this would really benefit from those. So I might give that a shot to help keep it in one place. So got a little uh, work ahead of me to make this uh, work for us, but I really love the design of it. It's very tall, very imposing. I think it's going to look great at the end of my driveway. So let me go ahead and bring the camera in and we'll take a closer look. I was a little bit concerned, first of all, about how the top pumpkin sort of bends downward, um, but actually that is kind of creepy as you look up toward his menacing looking face. I really love the vines that hold all of the pumpkins together. I think that's a great effect. And I really like how each of these pumpkins has their own individual personality. Some a bit creepier and more menacing than others. Actually, they're all pretty menacing as we uh, make our way through them. Right, as we make our way through to the back side, we'll get a look at what the reverse of the inflatable looks like, which it's not a whole lot, honestly. We've got our orange spheres here. Of course, we have the vine that goes all around them. You can tell that they're pumpkins, but they almost kind of just look like orange beach balls, which is a little disappointing. It'd be nice if they had a little bit more definition to um, each sphere. All right, so you can see the tether points here. There's one on the inside, one on the back, one on the outside of each of the middle pumpkins of the archway. There are also additional tether points on the bottom of the inflatable. Well, it does look pretty menacing during the daytime, but I can't wait to see what it looks like at night. So 
The sun is just now going down. Let's give it a few more minutes and come back and take another look. With all the lights that this thing has, I don't think the trick-or-treaters are going to have any trouble finding the entrance to my haunt this year. Um, it does light up the inflatable very, very well. You can see it from far away, and I think that's going to be great to draw people in and be a good entrance to my pumpkin army display. Of course, we're going to be showing you that at Halloween in just a week away, so you're going to want to make sure you stay tuned and subscribed for that. And before we go, I did want to say a special thank you to all the patrons who help support the channel. It is greatly appreciated. If anyone else out there wants to jo join our Fright Club, you can check out the link to my Patreon page in the description below. So that's going to do it for today. I want to thank everyone for watching. Till next time, take care and happy haunting.